Hello, in this tutorial I'll show you how to transform a pumpkin illustration into a glowing jack-o'-lantern in Procreate. To make a jack-o'-lantern you'll need to have a pumpkin illustration that you can modify. I recommend watching my video showing how to draw a pumpkin in Procreate so you can make a pumpkin just like this. I'll leave a link in the video description so you can watch it. Okay, so now that you have your pumpkin ready, make sure it's all on one layer. I grouped all of my pumpkin layers together and duplicated the group so I would have a copy of the original pumpkin. Then I flattened the duplicated group and turned off the original. Now I'm going to darken my pumpkin so that the glowing jack-o'-lantern will be more dramatic. To do this, swipe left on your pumpkin layer and press duplicate. Now tap on the adjustments button and tap hue saturation brightness. Now reduce the brightness and reduce the saturation a bit as well. Now tap on the N on the darker pumpkin layer and reduce the opacity a bit. Now you can see a bit more of the orange pumpkin underneath this pumpkin. When you're happy with how it looks, tap on the darker pumpkin and press Merge Down. So now we're ready to add a face to this pumpkin. Create a new layer above the pumpkin layer. Then tap on the color swatch and tap Value at the bottom of the colors menu and enter the hexadecimal that appears on the screen to get a yellow color. You may want to add this color and any other colors that we use throughout this tutorial to your color palette so you can access them easily later. Get the monoline brush located in the calligraphy set. Use the size slider on the side of the screen to set the size. It doesn't matter what size you use, I'm going to use 14%. And make sure the opacity is 100%. I'm going to draw a triangle for the eye, and I'm not going to make it a perfect shape. Just make sure there are no gaps in the line, and then drag from the color swatch into the eye to fill it with yellow. Then create a new layer, and draw the other eye. Fill it with yellow as well, and then create a new layer for the nose. I'm going to make a smaller triangle for the nose. Now create a new layer for the mouth. I'm going to draw a smiling mouth with some teeth. Because these shapes are all on different layers, you can select the layer that you want and tap on the arrow and move or resize the eyes, nose, or mouth if you need to. Now tap on the top layer and swipe right on all of the face layers below it, and then tap Group. Now if you want to move the whole face, you can tap on the new group layer, tap on the arrow, and move the face. Now tap on the small arrow next to New Group to collapse the group. Then swipe left on this group and press Duplicate. And turn off the visibility checkbox for the original group layer, and then tap on the duplicated group and press Flatten. So now I'm going to add some more color to this face. Tap on the face layer and press Select. Then create a new layer above it. Now get the soft airbrush located in the airbrushing set. Tap on the color swatch and get white for the color. Now set the size of the brush. I'm going to make mine about 24%, but choose a size that works for you. And make the opacity 100%. Now I'm going to paint some white in the corners of the eyes, and the nose, and the upper portion of the mouth, as if there's a candle inside this jack-o'-lantern. And this is where the brightest light would be. Now get a yellow-orange color. I'm going to paint this on the edges of the eyes, the corners of the mouth, and the bottom of the mouth. When you're done, tap on the Adjustments button and tap Gaussian Blur. Now slide your finger or Apple Pencil across the screen to blur the colors into more of a gradient. When you're happy with how it looks, tap on the gradient layer and press Merge Down to merge it with the face. Now let's carve the face out of the pumpkin. Tap on the face layer and press Select. Then create a new layer above it. Now tap on the color swatch and get red for the color. And now tap on the new layer and press Fill Layer. 
and this should fill your selection with the red color. Now drag the red layer underneath the yellow layer. Now tap on the adjustments button and press Gaussian blur. And then slide your finger or Apple pencil across the canvas to increase the blur until you have a slight red outline around your face. Now tap on the yellow layer and press select. Then create a new layer above it. Now tap on the color swatch and get a bright orange color. Then tap on the new layer and tap fill layer. Now swipe left on the face group layer and press duplicate. Then move this duplicated layer to the top of the layer stack. Turn on the visibility checkbox and tap on the small arrow next to new group to expand the group. Now tap on the first eye layer and then tap on the arrow and move this eye so that you can see the orange underneath it. And the orange that you can see is the part that will appear carved. So I'm going to move this eye down and to the right and you can resize the eye as well. Now tap on the next eye layer and tap on the arrow and move this eye. I'm going to move it down and to the left. Now tap on the nose layer and then tap on the arrow and move the nose. I'm going to move it down and to the left. Now tap on the mouth layer and tap on the arrow and move the mouth. I'm going to move it up and to the left. When you're done moving the face, tap on the top new group layer and press flatten. Then tap on this layer again and press select. Now tap on the orange layer and press clear. Now swipe left on the top layer and press delete. And you can see that this creates a carved look. To fix this up a bit, tap on the gradient face layer and press select. Then tap on the orange layer. Now get the monoline brush. And now you can just paint in areas that need to be fixed. I'm going to fix up the mouth a bit to make the teeth appear more carved. And you can erase areas that you don't like as well. If you want to zoom in, pinch outwards on the screen with two fingers. To zoom back out, pinch inwards. Now let's make this face glow a bit. To do this, swipe left on the gradient face layer and press duplicate. Then move this layer to the top of the layer stack. Now tap on the orange layer and press select. Then tap on the top layer and press clear. This will cut the top layer down so it fits within the carved area. Now turn off the visibility checkboxes for all of the face layers except for the top layer. Now get an eraser, such as the soft airbrush from the airbrushing set. Choose a size for your eraser and make the opacity 100%. And then erase all of the thin lines that appear around this face. And it doesn't matter if this is perfect because we're going to blur this layer in a second. Now turn on all of the face layers except for the group layer. And then tap on the end on this top layer and tap lighten and then tap add. Now tap on the adjustments button and tap Gaussian blur and slide your finger or Apple pencil across the screen to increase the blur until you like how the glow looks. I'm going to make it about 20%. And if you want this to be brighter, Swipe left on this layer, press duplicate, then tap on this A and reduce the opacity of this a bit. Now let's add some dark texture to the orange carved layer. Tap on the orange layer and press select, then create a new layer above it. Tap on the end on this layer and give it the multiply blend mode. Now get the noise brush located in the touch-up set. Set the size of your brush. I'm going to make it about 56%, but use a size that works for you. And I'm going to make the opacity 78%. Now paint some dark texture onto the orange carved layer using the orange color. I'm going to add it to the corners of the eyes, nose, and mouth. Now let's add some light texture. With the orange layer still selected, create a new layer above the dark texture layer. 
Tap on the end on this layer, tap Lighten, and then tap Add. Now paint some light texture on the orange carved layer. Now the carving is almost done, I just want to add a line inside of the carved area. With the orange layer still selected, create a new layer on top of the texture layers and below the glow layers. Now tap on the end on this layer and then tap Multiply. Tap on the color swatch and get the yellow-orange color. Now get the monoline brush and make the size 1%. Now draw a thin line between the orange carved layer and the glow layer. This may be difficult to see depending on how bright your glow is. If you want the line to be a bit darker, you can just duplicate the layer. If you want it to be lighter, tap on the M on the layer and reduce the opacity. Now let's just add some finishing touches to this jack-o'-lantern. Tap on the pumpkin layer and press select. Create a new layer above it. Get the red for the color. And get the noise brush. Now paint around the carved face. This will add some texture to the face and make it look like it's glowing a bit more. Now tap on the end on the red layer and give it a blend mode, such as Add. Then reduce the opacity until you like how it looks. Now I'm going to add a glow around the pumpkin. With the pumpkin still selected, create a new layer and drag it underneath the pumpkin layer. Now get a color for the glow. I'm going to use the color I drew the pumpkin with. Then tap on the new layer and press Fill Layer and this will fill it with the color. Now tap on the Adjustments button and tap Gaussian Blur and increase the blur until it seems like the pumpkin is glowing a bit. Then tap on the end on the glow layer and reduce the opacity until you like how it looks. Now let's add a background color. Create a new layer and drag it underneath the glowing pumpkin layer. Choose a dark color for your background, such as black or a dark blue color. Then drag from the color swatch into the background to fill it with that color. Now you can tap on the end on the glowing pumpkin layer and give it a blend mode. I tapped contrast and then hard light. Now you can get creative with your background and add more colors, create a gradient using a Gaussian blur, or paint in a sky and some grass. Add whatever you want. Now you can use this method to create lots of different jack-o'-lanterns. Thank you for watching.